Hey Line Fam, welcome to another Reformal Pilates class. Now this is a total full body class. You're going to feel absolutely every muscle wet. So let's put our bed into personal settings if you haven't. And we're going to start with either three red springs, more beginner. Three red and blue would be intermediate. Otherwise, chuck all your springs on and go real heavy on those legs. So here we go, coming onto our bed. Bring your feet onto the full bar. I'm going to start heels together, V shape. I'm going to pop my fingers up. You're welcome to do the same. Otherwise, keep it down and just open your springs, close your springs. Open springs, close springs. So we're just trying to get some blood pumping through the body, getting nice and warm. Cool. Now, as you open your springs, you want to feel those inner thighs squeeze nice and tight. To really bring those sides together at the top to movement here. And we're trying to get as much turn out through the thigh bone as we can. Okay, we have five. And four. Two, easy. Four, three, two. And one, in halfway, few pulses. Keep digging those heels into the full back. Feel nice and heavy through the tailbone. So we have five. Relax your shoulders. Four. Three, two, and push all the way up. Good work. Come into the stopper. Bring your feet together, knees together. We're trying to make a C shape over the full back. This is called birdie feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, push away. Come in. So we're really trying to make that C shape with our feet. It's going to feel really interesting. Good. Now keep squeezing those inner thighs together. And try to arch the foot as much as you can. This is going to wake up and stretch some two muscles in the feet, which we often neglect. Good. Inhale in. Exhale. Push. We have five. Beautiful. Four. Keep wrapping those toes. Three. Two. One. Inhale. Wave pulse. Inch in. Inch out. Good. Keep squeezing those legs together. Tight as you can, like you've got a million dollar check in between those knees. And it's real windy out there, so really squeeze. Good. Five, four, keep wrapping those toes. Three, two, push all the way up. Good work. Come into the supper. Come onto your tiptoes. Your legs are still together. Lift the heels up. Deep breath in. Push away. Good. So now we have those 12 inch heels on. And again, we're still squeezing our legs together here. Inhale in. Exhale, push. Now our ankles are high and they're stabilized. So we don't want to see them bobbing up and down. They stay still in space. Awesome. Good. Okay, we have five. Four. Beautiful. Three. Two. Add one this time, halfway in, all the way out. Halfway in, all the way out. Good. Halfway in, all the way out. Work on that tight part of the spring. Beautiful. Keep hugging in those abs. Nice. Last five. Too easy. Four. Three. Two. Add one, halfway in, pulse. Ten. Nine. Eight, feels so good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push out the legs are straight. Heels under the bar and lift. Good. Squeeze the butt here. Heels under the bar and lift. Drop the heels all the way down. Lift all the way up. So you can get it a little bit further each part of the movement. Nice. Good. Last five. Four, three, hope that butt still squeeze. Two, and one, hold the heels high. Bend in and out for five. Four, this is your rest by the way. Three, nice. Two, and one, hold out, drop one heel down, and lift and switch. Lift and switch. Now the pelvis is still. You want to make sure that you're balancing a bowl of soup on your pubic bone there. Or a morning coffee. And if you're like me yesterday, I spilled my coffee all over my jumper. So sad. It's like this 
beautiful lilac color and it stains. Anyway, hope that comes out. Okay. So yeah, no spilling anything on that pubic bone. We have another bite. Oh, I might be starting to feel those calf muscles now. Three, and little muscles in those feet. Two, and one, legs together, five more. And four, three, keep squeezing those legs. Two, last one, hold. Five more calf raising, both down, both lift. Five, four, sorry, no, sorry. Three, Two, you're almost there. And one, bring it in. Okay, maybe shake off those legs. So we're gonna bring our heels on the foot back. Rub up the arms, take your left leg to tabletop. Your feet presses up, take it down. Hips go up and down. Good, now the hip bones stay the same height. You want that rib to hip connection as much as you can. Good. Okay, four left. Three. Two, and up to hold, point the toe to the sky, toe goes over the full back, back to the sky, down to the full back, up to the sky, good, three, so good, two, pelvis is still, and one, hold, hold, push a little button on the ceiling, that's it, another four, three, two, hold, foot down, roll ribs, mid back, low back, and tailbone. Always straight for the two legs, opposite leg close. Here we go, hips go up, and we go down. The pelvis is nice and level, the rib to hips still connected. Good. We have five, four, feels good. Three, might be starting to find your hamstrings. Two, up, hold, extend the leg to the sky, to the full bar, to the sky. To the full bar, to the sky. Feel that nice length in the waistline. Good. And four. Three. Two. Feel long in those legs. One. Hold. Pulse. Inch up, inch down. There we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Foot down. Roll ribs. Mid back. Blurry back. And tailbone. Good job. Switch those knees left to right. Now we're gonna change our springs and make your way up. We want two red springs. If you're bent in personal settings, go back to two and two, which I'm gonna to have to do. Okay, once you've got your two red springs, everyone's favorite, legs and straps. Here we go, on our back, put your feet in your straps, however you know how, this is the intermediate way, so you take your straps, Put tension, you curl, feel those abs, feet go in, woo, that was fun. Now we want our heels together, feet turned out, inner thighs are squeezing tight. Good, again, you can take your fingers up if you want, lift and lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. So you're gonna take your legs as high as you can keep that tailbone glued to the carriage. Beautiful, inhale up, exhale down, really hugging your abs, you take those legs down towards springs. Beautiful, right? Okay, we have three, just like this. Two, getting a nice stretch. And one. Cool. Now we're going to take the legs up to the sky. Heels slide down the glass wall. Then you push and you point the toes over the full back. Toes up to the sky. Heels slide down the glass wall, the bed doesn't move. Push, point, toes over the full back. Legs go to the sky, really focus on that turnout, that diamond through the leg, push and point. Good, the work is in that external rotation here. Once you've got flexibility at least, good. <laughs> Turn the heels side out, heels slide down the glass wall, push and point. We have three. Beautiful. And one. So that is your short spine prep. Your hip is up, take it down. We're going into short spine, so deep breath in. Exhale, roll up and over. Peel the spine up off the carriage. Find that J shape in the spine. 
Good. The feet doesn't move. Slide the heels down the glass wall. The feet stay still in space as you roll, roll, roll until your hamstrings cannot stretch anymore. And you bend the heels in and you push those feet back over the back. Again, up and over, hamstrings parallel to the ceiling. Good. Body stays high. Slide the heels down the glass wall. The heels stay still in space as you roll down, imprinting bone by bone. Find that hamstring stretch until they don't stretch anymore. Then you bring the heels down and you push your point the toes over the foot back. Again, rolling up and over. Good. Hamstrings parallel to the ceiling. Slide the heels down the glass wall. Feet stay still in space. Roll down slow, stretching out that spine and hamstrings. Go heels down, finish off the move. Three more here, up and over. Really pulling the abs. Try to feel nice and round through that lower back. It might not round or probably just look flat, but you want to really feel those abs pulling in. Just as much about abdominal control as it is about spine mobility. Here we go. One more here. Abs in, abs in, abs in. Good. Oh, feels amazing, right? Yes. Now we're going to go into a second crowd pleaser. Legs are booked. Now turn the thighs out. Inhale up. Exhale out, down and around. We want to keep the pelvis as still as we can here. And those thighs are turned out the whole time. Beautiful. Three to go, and then we'll reverse. Two. And one. Now you're going to split at the bottom. Come up and down through center. Yes. Go five more on the third. Reach in. Good. Keep the abs tight. Tightening up that corset as those legs go down. And last one here. Feet over the full bar. Feet are flat. Bend the knees in. Push. Small frog. Point the toes. Legs in. Push and point. Bend in. Push and point. Good. Now it's like a little diamond here. You're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, out on your beat. Three, two, one, let's come back in. Push point, three, two, one, get snappy, and come back in. Go one, two, three, let's come back in. Nice push point, three, two, one, let's come back in. We have four. Might be starting to feel those inner thighs now. Three, easy, one, two, three. Two more, one, two, three. Last one, push one, two, three. Good work. Okay, now take your feet out of the strap, same way. So you're hugging your abs, take them out, feet to the foot bar. Okay, now level one, you're going to hold the big loops. Level two, you can hold the small loops. Now I've already done this class today, so I'm gonna hold the small. <laughs> Now from here, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to push our hands by our hips, shoulders back and down, and bend and extend the arms. Good. So just triceps. Pulling your shoulders away from the shoulder posts. Good. So I'm going to layer this exercise up. And again, you are welcome to stay here. If you want more, start to come into spine flexion. Eyes gaze at your hips. Keep going with the arms. Good. That's it. Now we have three. We'll make sure it works. Two. And again, you're welcome to stay here. One. Otherwise, arms and legs extend. Legs and arms. So both. Legs and arms. Both. Legs and arms. Good. Both. Legs and arms. One more like this. Both. Legs and arms. You can stay there. Otherwise, both. Feet. Three, two, one. Legs and arms. Stay up. Both, one, two, three, legs and up, curl more, both, one, two, three, legs, arms, ready to go, out, feet, legs, arms, good, curl more, 
Woo, you want to stay up there, keep it in the abs. There we go. One, two, three. Leg the arms. One more go. One, two, three. Legs and arms. Lower down, good. Arms up to the sky. Hands towards your hips. Palms to the thighs, collarbones wide. Find the T and close. Good. I really hug in those abs. And try to squeeze a piece of paper in between the armpits as you bring those palms to your thighs. Good. Again, you're welcome to stay here. If you want more, come to spine flexion, abs in, belly down, and close, and close. Good. Again, you can stay here, otherwise both legs out and back. Beautiful, we have six. Five, easy, four, three, two, and one, arms up, lower it down. A little rest, just switch those knees left to right. Whew, I'm sure you're starting to feel warm, I am. Okay, we've got one more for our abs. Arms up, shoulders back and down, take those legs to tabletop. And just start by pushing your arms down straight, up to the sky, down to the carriage. Up to the sky, down to the carriage. Pull your shoulders away from the shoulder press. Now we're going to start to curl, blow between the legs, and lower. Good. Blow between the legs, eyes gaze to the hips, and lower. This time, pause at the top, keep blowing, pump, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Good, curl. Pump the hands, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, you're welcome to stay there, otherwise take one look out, pump, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, swap legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg in, lower down. Good curl. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg in, lower down. Curl. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg in, lower down. One more time each leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg in, lower down. And exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg in, lower down. Now both legs if you can. Double legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs in, arms up. Two more. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs in, arms up. Wow, last one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs in, arms up. Good job. I hope you felt your abs there. We're going to make our way up. And one. And stand up. Turn this 
coming up, five. Woo, getting caught up, five. Hola, remember you can always hold the full ball like this if you need to. Three, two, and one. Woo, stand back up, okay, last one. We have six, yes, five, four, feels good, three, stay low, two, sink a little bit lower, and one, stand up, good job, shake off that leg, woo, maybe punch up the butt, did you feel it, I got it, my little heart, okay, we're going to do that again on the other side, to the same, take that opposite leg back, headlights on the hips are facing forward, and I'm going to slide down here, just hold, Ooh, lift the abs, rest the hips, arms up if you can, join. bring your hands into that full back. Make sure that foot's in the middle of the carriage, otherwise you're making it too easy. Okay, so we go stand up, and turn back down. Good, so we've got your nice long lengthening lunges. Yes. Beautiful, so you're going to lift that belly up off the thigh. Great. Okay, last five, and then we get into those scooters. Pull up, keep that back leg straight. Three. Good. Two. One, hold. Bend in, push out. Stand up. That one's easy. This time we got two. Bend in, push out. One. And two. And stand back up. Good. This time for three. Three, yes, two, and one. Good, stand back up. This time for four. Four, keep lifting those abs, stay low. Three, two, one, stand up, stay warm. This time for five. Three, have five. Keep those headlights on the hips facing forward. Three to go. Two, stay low, and one, starting to feel it. Okay, last one, just for six. Yes, five, four, three, feels amazing. Two, and one, out, and stand up. Good job. Shake off that butt, you did great. Now we're gonna take our full bar down, lift the side, guide it down. Beginners stay on the blue, otherwise, let's go red. We're coming into pulling straps. So that's the one on your belly where you pull those loops. Okay, so bring our box into long box. Before you get down, just bring your straps onto the ground so you know they're easy to get off when you're there. Girls, come with your boobs off the box. Boys, just nipples. Okay, now push your pubic bone into the box, lift your abs. Now ground the shoulders forward. From here, eyes are gazing into the black hole. We're going to roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, lift the hands. Palms up to the sky, and we're just reaching our fingers towards our heels. Good, keep the nose looking at the head rest there, so your head and neck stays in good alignment. And just hold for 10 more seconds. This is what we call our dart shape, by the way. So when we pull the straps, we come to this shape without throwing our head like that. So I'm going to keep that all length in the neck, okay? It's about upper thoracic extension, not neck extension, or if we lift the legs, lower back extension. So let's take these white ropes. We're going to hold it so your ropes are tight if you've got a different reformer. Now, eyes are gazing in the black hole, abs are lifted. We start in this flexed upper back. Deep breath in as we pull, we find our dart shape. And we lower back down. Good. Pull and extend. Lower back down. Keep lifting those up. Pull and extend. Peek into the black hole like there's somebody in there who's naked and you're kind of interested in them. So every time you lower down, you have a little curve. And then you come up again. 
Good. Now do one more and three arm pumps. Hold. Three, two, one. Lower down. Woo. Two more like that. Holding stand. Three, two, one. Lower down. One more. Yeah. Hold. Three, two, one. Lower down. And just have a little rest that you can go floppy. Eyes are gazing into that left hole. Cool. Next one is airplane. So we start in the same position. Stool turban. As we pull the hands make a snow angel shape. And they come back the same way. Pull and extend. Come back the same way. Good. That's it. Four. Five. We well, have five to go. Five. You're going to feel this a lot on the back of the shoulders. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, little rest. Curve into the black hole again. Ooh, we have one more, and it's tricep focused. So again, get those legs together. We're going to start peeping, then we're going to come to our dark shape, and just bend the elbows forward and back. Good, and we have five. Sorry, no, we don't. We've got eight. I trick you. Seven. Six. Squeeze the triceps. Five. Easy. Four. Three, two, and one. Lower down. Good work. We're going to come into cat cow. Hands underneath your armpits, knees underneath your hips. Tuck the tail around the spine, chin to chest. Then lead from the tailbone. Articulate, chin lift. Good. Again, tuck the tail around the spine, chin to chest. And just moving between those two points. There it is. And do a few wiggles if it feels good. And a wiggle up here. And then we're going to take our box back. Bend your knees, pick it up, put it back to where you found it. Now, if you're not on a red spring, go there now. Take your full bar up by lifting the side. Good. Hands onto your full bar. Body's in a diagonal line. So as you push away, lift the abs. Come forward. Now we want to keep those hips open. Beautiful. Keep lifting the abs. Very nice. Okay. And you have five. Option to come to your toes this time. Here we go. Four. Trying to get out a little bit further every time. Three. Two. This time, hold the back. If you're on your toes, tuck in, tuck out. Keep the shoulders back behind the bar. If you're on your knees, we're going like this from the hips. A little bit easier, but the shoulder position's the same. Okay, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders over the full bar, lower the knees down. Now, body's still on the diagonal line. Chest down to the bar and push. You have push ups. Good. Eight to go. You can always bend your toes. Seven. Five, good, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now sit on your heels if you can, otherwise cross your legs. You're going to take those straps. Beginners hold the big loops, intermediate hold the small. Palms face the mirrors, shoulders back and down. Go from here, sweep up to eye level, come back down. Now keep it in your abs, ribs to hips. Go, exhale, sweep. Inhale, down. Good, exhale, sweep. Inhale, down. Now, for more challenge, one circle in front of the body and lower down. 
Good. One circle in front of the body. And lower it down. Set the one circle. Lower it down. Collarbones are wide. One circle. And lower it down. Good. Two more here. One. And two. Bring it in. Good work. Roll the shoulders back a couple times. The next one we start an offering. So collarbones are wide. We've got two large pieces. The toppings stay on. Push out. Open the chest. Close. Come back in. Good. Push out. Open. Close. Come back in. Beautiful. Ribs to hip. Keep those abs up. So nice. Chest. Open, close, and in. We have five. Beautiful. Four. Yes. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Bring it in. We're going to. Come into tricep push up. So this time the elbows come in towards your ribs instead of wide into that W shape. So you start with your hands a little bit closer together. Now bodies in that diagonal line, elbows go into the ribs and push. Get into the ribs and push. You have eight. Option to be on the toes. Seven. Six. Yes. It's five. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Now we're going to stretch it out with elephants. One red, one blue spring. If you prefer two red, go crazy. Now we're going to start in a round back. So think round through the spine, lift the abs. Now push in and out. Now you want to take the courage away with this butt crease muscle. So those hamstrings, the muscles behind the legs. Keep rounding the spine. Good. So this one's easy, right? Keep lifting the abs. Okay. Three. Two. Round the spine. One. Good. Now we're going to keep a straight spine. Option to come to your toes if your hamstrings are too tight. Now again, move from the back of the legs. Inch in, inch out. So this might feel light, but we're going to get into our back Go. Three. Two. One. Now bring it in. Level one. Just float the knee in line with the other knee. And move back and forth like this. Level two. Back leg straight up. Shoulders don't rotate. In and out. Good. Again, taking the carriage away to the back of the leg. Keep lifting the abs. Good. Now if that leg gets high, you want to squeeze the bum to lift the leg. Two. And one. Go bring the carriage in. Swap legs. Remember level one, just float. Level two, go straight up. In and out. Keep pushing the bar away. Good. The shoulders shouldn't rotate. The pelvis will slightly, but keep it as square as possible. Good. Four. Three. Two and one, bring it in, stay there. Now to start to put the belly on the thighs, release the full bar and dangle. Let the head be heavy. Start to deepen the breath. Breathing into the backside ribs. On the exhale, just relax. Now take your hands behind your back, roll the shoulders back, squish the pain up between the shoulder blades and tip over, release all that junk in the shoulders and the neck, just let it go. Maybe swish the hips left to right, see if it feels better if you let go of your arms. Okay, now we're going to pause for a deep breath into the backside ribs. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, so coming up through that C shape in the back. Roll, 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 roll. Nice, reach the arms above you. 
Right hand takes lift press, you pull the top arm across the body. Beautiful, to the other side, pull the top arm across the body. Big arm circle around. All right, give yourself a big round of applause. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much for moving your body with me. I'd love to hear any feedback or comments that you have about the class. I found that class to be actually quite challenging, so I hope that you enjoyed that too. Bye for now.